Boil's finished. Uh, so I've uh, turned off the heating element, connected up the counterflow chiller, as you can see. Got my new connector in here. Oh, that's all good. No leaks. I'm just doing the five-minute circulation to uh, sanitise the counterflow chiller. Then we'll put the hot rocket in and see what happens. Fingers crossed. Uh, flow on this is pretty fast, as you can see. When it's just going straight through as it is. So we'll see, I well, might not need that, I wouldn't need that speed of flow for chilling. But we'll see what it's like when I get the hot rocket in, I'll show you the flow. I might have to record that on my phone so I don't have to move the camera about. Um, so I'll be back in five minutes, I'll show you the procedure for connecting the hot rocket in. Okay, so that's the five minute um, sanitising circulation. So now I'm going to connect the water up, connect the hot rocket. And off we go. That's the water. Got my fermentation vessel ready. So I'm going to turn off the pump. And I'm going to clamp this pipe so that I don't get the um, counterflow chiller completely emptying. Quite hot, of course. Let's connect that one. Put the first down there. Put the hot rocket in. Star Sun. Connect it like that. Start it on the other inlet. Take that connector off. Get that in like that. Put the clip off. Turn the pump on. See what happens. I've got flow into the hot rocket. It'll now be filling the hot rocket up. Actually, I want this in my fermenter because I want to be going straight into the fermenter. So I'm just turning the pump off, putting it into my fermenter. Turn that on, start my water. Getting hot. Get it to about there now. Getting hotter towards the top. There it goes. Flow there looks all right. Bit of air coming out as you'd expect. Flow we've got at this end. Nothing yet. Here it comes. And that flow is normal. Same speed at the minute, but the hops will swell up. See what the temperature is. Coming out there at 23. And I want it a bit slower anyway. 24. I'm going to slow my pump down a bit. That's as well my standard procedure. Let's get the chill temperature I need. So there's some little bubbles coming through there, as you'd expect, it will evacuate all the air in the hops immediately. And now getting on the temperature 19.8. Good flow, well as much flow as I need, as you can see I've slowed it down, 19.5. 19.2. I can afford a bit faster. I'm gonna Open it up a bit. Red hot that thing, just be careful. I'm 
I'm now chilling at 20.3, 20.7, 21, 22, so it's a bit fast again. And this is my standard workflow, up and down, up and down until I get the temperature that I need coming out the other end. And now so far so good, no problem with the hot rocket constraining flow, even with 80 grams of hops in. There, see that? That's my chilling flow. Whoops, I always spill water all over when I do that. So the grain pile temperature is 94, it says on there. It's flowing through my hops and getting it down to 19 degrees at that end. Quite a fast flow rate and it's winter here in the UK, so my ground temperature's quite low, the water going through. So far so good, just works. I'll, uh, I'll check back in a few minutes as I get further into the chill. Uh, that was the timer, I'm 20 minutes into the chilling, I'm at 20 litres. It's still going, not to get the water out of here, I don't want to leave, well there won't be that much water in there because remember it's filled with expanded hops but not to make sure I empty it. I can see on my container I've just hit 22 litres, yeah 22, bit of water in here to go yet. Of course with the hops in there I'm getting a double filter, so I'm squeezing, I can squeeze as much as I like out of here. I'm going to get another filter effect in there, so that could be another bonus of the hot rocket. Squeeze every last bit of water out. Close, nearly stop now, you can hear it it's whistling. There, got air in the pipe. Which is done. I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to shut that valve. I'll stop my water because um, I don't want the hot rocket to empty into there. So now I'm going to empty the hot rocket and it's a bit hot to pick up, so that's a challenge, isn't it? Because I want to invert it like that. Be a bit, a bit of water in this pipe, so I'll put that in there. Invert this and empty it like that. If it will, I don't know if it will or not. I can see there's still water in that pipe. But this is packed full of wet, hot hops now. That pipe's emptied. Let's see how much there is left in here. get that to balance on there, I'll leave it draining and we'll see. I'm not putting that in because it's not a sterilised jug but lesson for the future. Have a sanitised jug handy, stand your hot rocket upside down, collect the last bit of water if you're really really that desperate to get every last drop. I've hit, I've probably gone a bit shot a bit over 23 actually, slightly over. I'll test my um, gravity in a minute and then do a wrap up a few minutes. Okay, so let's do a wrap up. I've got my uh, got my beer here, cooled. I've aerated it. Check the temperature; it's 23 degrees. So I'm happy with that. I can't get it cooler than that. 23 is cool enough, and I've used a lot less water than usual. Here's the hot rocket. It's still hot. Should we call the hot rocket? And there's about 300 ml of beer in there. So if you're doing a small brew, you might want to sanitise a, a jug and collect that. I'm, gonna, I'm curious to see inside. The wort smells really hoppy, um, but you know, 80 grams is a lot, isn't it? An 80 gram hop stand probably would smell pretty hoppy. So to be fair, I would need to do a split test, wouldn't I? Uh, hop rocket 50%, disconnect the hop rocket, put equivalent hops in a hop stand, brew it separately and test it, they might well do that one day. You can see it's just 
solid hops there. So you can see that if you were, um, you get, you'd get a real secondary filtration effect from that, wouldn't you? Look how tightly packed those hops are, and yet the grandfather was pumping through perfectly normally. You know, I was choking it back to get the chill temperature that I needed. So that's you know two grams short of the maximum maximum you can put in. Absolutely no flow problems whatsoever. I'm well happy with that. Um, so I'm now dribbled water all over the floor. Standard brewing practice, though, isn't it? So there, there you go. That's the hot rocket. Uh, functionally, I'm really happy with it. It's beautifully made. Really nice bit of kit. Um, I'll put details on at the end of the video of where I where I bought it and the little bits and pieces that I use. You know, I use hosing, a couple of clips, and um, that sort of thing. Um, and I'll let you know how the beer turns out. Okay. Um, bye for now. Happy brewing.